okay guys i have this question here which says uh, how many atoms are there in 6.0 grams of carbon atoms so let me show how you can quickly answer this question so simple okay so let me show you how it is coming from more concept okay so first of all they are asking how many atoms whenever they are talking about atoms you must know that if you have one more one more will always give you like six i'll just get six times 10 to the power 23 atoms so in one more these are atoms which are there now you have been given 6.0 grams of carbon atoms they want you to tell them how many atoms are there of carbon in 6.0 grams so what you are going to do is also to combine with the more concept you know one carbon atom all right so this carbon atom like carbon here on the periodic table it has molar mass molar mass of carbon which is equal to 12 12 grams per mole so this again is a powerful concept which means that if you have one more of carbon it means in it there are 12 grams so this simply means that if you have now this they have given you okay so in 12 grams of carbon one more or one more gives you 12 grams now how about 60 grams so you say okay how about six grams how many moles are there so you don't know then you cross multiply x times 12 you get 12 grams x equals then one more times six grams you get 60 grams more then you want x so you divide by 12 okay to divide by 12 grams equal here you divide by 12 grams so that 12 goes here and gram here goes then you remain with x is equal to so you say that the um, 12 into uh, 6 it will be 0 0.5 then here you remain with it more then what you are going to know now is that now you know you get this comparison you know that if you have one more you have uh, we have said we have six times ten to the power six times ten to the power 23 atoms then what about if you have 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 moles you have how many atoms x because this is what now you are supposed to know so you multiply here so you say one more times x you get uh, something like um, uh, x more then equals then 0 0.5 times c 6 times 10 to the power 23 atoms you get 3 times 10 to the power 23 atoms and more now here you want x you don't want it more so you divide by more equally here by more so that if more goes you remain with it. x is equal to then here more goes more goes then you have three times 10 to the power 23 atoms so meaning in in six grams six grams of carbon has it, 3 times 10 to the power 23 atoms okay so we check if we have such an answer like this on our options so on our option we discover that we have 3 times 10 to the power 23 so the answer is a okay so this is the procedure that you have to take then we have another question here we have another question here this one here which says um calcium carbonate which is CaCO3 decomposes according to the following equation this equation here then they are saying what volume of carbon dioxide measured at room temperature and pressure is produced when 50 grams 0.0 uh, 50.0 grams calcium carbonate is heated 
So similarly again, this is the same situation that um, like we have um, found. So these are to do with the standard things. So you know again that uh, when you have one more, let me just push this one up here. So you know that uh, when you have one more, of a substance at RTP, it will always give you the volume of 24 uh, cubic decimeter. So one more at room temperature and pressure will always give you this. Now they've told you that they have calcium carbonate which they are heating so that it breaks down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So meaning when they ask you to say what volume of carbon dioxide, this one here, this carbon dioxide was formed from calcium carbonate. The breaking of calcium carbonate is the one that leads to the formation of calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Now they are telling you to say what volume of carbon dioxide measured at room temperature and pressure is produced when 50.0 grams calcium carbonate is uh, decomposed. So if you have... Um, 50 calcium let me write just the equation calcium carbonate decomposing to give you calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide so here they are saying if they have 50 grams it's the one which is decomposing to give you this carbon dioxide here now what mass of carbon dioxide is also produced on this other end so now for you to do this first of all you need to take note of the molar masses so molar masses they react stoichiometrically so this equation is already balanced so like the molar mass of calcium carbonate is um, 100 and then the molar mass of carbon dioxide is 44 then this is how they react if you have 100 then it always reacts with 44 okay now what about if you are given 50 it reacts with what so you put x okay then you cross it multiply so 100 times x you get 100 x is equal to then 50 times um, 44 you get a value which is a, like, um, what value are we getting here? It's a, actually a, a good value which we are getting here. Um, we are getting a good value like 22, then 0, 0 grams. Now we are looking for x, so we divide by 100, okay, even here by 100, so that, um, 100 goes, we remain with x is equal to this and that cancels, you get 22 grams. Meaning that um, this 50 gram of calcium, when it, compose, it decomposes, decomposes, it will give us 22 grams of carbon dioxide. Now, we want the volume of this, okay? So what we are going to do here is this. So we are just going to say like um, we know carbon dioxide, the molar mass of carbon dioxide. Molar mass, let me just put it here. Molar mass of carbon dioxide is forty-four grams per mole. Okay, so that is forty-four grams per mole. So this simply means that if you have one more of carbon dioxide the mass that is equivalent to it is 44 grams now you have um, 22 grams what more is equivalent to that so you put x so you cross it multiply so you get this times that to get 44 44 grams x And then if you're good, then equals, then 
this again this time so that you get uh, 22 uh, gram more than you want uh, x so you divide by 44 gram even here by 44 gram so this goes you remain with x is equal to then this gram and that goes so 22 divided by 44 0.5 more you remain with this more here then after you have this more here the next thing that you do now is to relate it to this okay so you come back you say we are we know that at rtp one more will give us 24 cubic decimeter how about 0.5 moles what volume it is going to give us then you cross multiply this times so that you get x um, more equals this times so that you get 12 uh, decimeter cubed more then what you are looking for is the the um, x so you divide by more even here by more so that more goes here and here then here you remain with x is equal to then you have 12 cubic decimeter so meaning that if you have um, uh, uh, 50 50 grams 50 grams of uh, calcium uh, carbonate 50 grams of calcium carbonate will produce uh, 12 cubic decimeter of carbon uh, dioxide so when we go to our answer we should find that if we have 12 cubic decimeter that should be our answer so basically this is the process that you can also take okay so let's check on our answer answers yeah so our answer is a which is 12 gram i mean 12.0 cubic decimeter as our answer okay so guys i thought of just showing you how you can answer these two uh, questions which come under more concept i hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it like it if you have not enjoyed it dislike it bye and see you in the next lesson please peace